everyone, it's Rebecca Kahabat Yehovah from Teshiva Ministries and today I just want to show you something that I am going to do for Purim this year. So as you know, if you're celebrating the festivals and feasts of Yeho feasts and festivals of Yehovah, then you know that that Queen Esther and Mordecai commanded that you are to give gifts of food to others. And so um, most of the time we do what's called a Mishlach Manot bag. I put a little tag on it and some goodies inside, like hamantashnel sweets and stuff that treats that we make for special for form and give those away. Well, this year I'm changing it up a little bit, and this year. I am going to do what I'm calling a beauty box. Now, uh, Purim is all about, you know, there's so much that Purim is about. It's a fantastic festival. If you haven't celebrated it, it yet, you need to. You need to really explore the depths of Purim, not the not the the Halloweenish Purim that is going on in the world today, but the true Purim. So part of it is about this this beautiful, incredible story about this little girl, Hadassah, who grows up to be queen. And throughout the course of that, you see this time frame uh, that Queen Esther, that Hadassah, she was being prepped to be queen, hopefully be queen, she went through all these beauty treatments. And so I'm kind of going off of that idea with uh, the help of a friend, uh, Charmin, who is um, with Lemongrass Spa. So I started buying a few things from Lemongrass Grass Spa to try, try them out. And I was going to try them out, not only on myself, but as gifts for um, ladies, a few of my friends during Purim. So here's what I'm doing. I'm creating what I'm calling a beauty box. Okay, so here I have actually um, two beauty boxes and I was just going to put them together today in front of the camera because I haven't actually done this yet. Um, but I, I went and I got two boxes. Um, I kind of decided to do this instead of baskets. Because you know, if you know me at all, I love baskets. But this time I decided to try a box. And I like how they like automatically close right there. But this I got like Michael's for half off. Yeah. So I got two of them because I'm going to treat two ladies. I actually got some, um, this, is, this is actually moss. Yeah, it's colored moss from like the Netherlands or something. So this was on sale there. So I'm going to use this to pad my box. So I'll be putting some of this in here. Ooh, that's messy. <laughs> I may have to do this outside and then come back and show you the box. Because that's just a tad bit messy, but that's fun. This is actually moss. How fun is that? I got a couple different colors, so I will fill, fill this. Uh, with that, but here's what I also got some real pretty flowers that I'm going to cut uh, or or wind up and put them in there. And then this is what I decided to do. Ooh, these are so fun. I got lots of little tiny products from the Lemongrass Spa and some other places that I like to use. Um, that I, I like natural, organic as much as possible. I like to be really careful about what we put on our skin cosmetically and what I clean with and stuff. So I've been looking for companies that are super clean and um, things that companies that develop products that don't have chemicals in them that use more of essential oils and natural things, right? So for this box, for this lady, I've got some uh, lavender vanilla bath soap, so not soap, but salts to, to soak in. How fun is that? Then I have some trial sizes of some um, shampoo. I think it's almond. Ooh, it's, it smells really good. Shampoo and or shampoo and conditioner. Yep. And then I'm gonna actually have to put my glasses on to see. Um, I got some body icing. How fun is that? Just something to pamper herself with, and some healing elements balm. Okay. Then I have to show you what I'm gonna put in the other box to treat my other lady friend. Let me show you. Oh, there's lots. Look at this. Rose water facial mist. Oh, yes. Some dry shampoo. Some eyeshadow. Some contour powder. Uh, I have some really nice smelling lip balm that I got. And some prebiotic face wash. They're going to be spoiled. That's my idea. And then on top of it, I'm going to put a little piece of jewelry in there. So I got each lady uh, a piece of jewelry that they can wear on their on their wrist. This one says, uh, her heart is set on things above, Colossians 3.1. Yes, I even found that at Michael's, go figure. This one says, she is clothed with strength and dignity, Proverbs 31.25. Yeah, I actually found these little charm things at um, 
charms and bracelet things. I actually found those at Michael's. And so then you can get that 50% off, which is super cool, like coupon that you can just use all the time. So, and then on the, on the outside of the box somewhere, I'm going to put my little hang tag. So you can actually purchase these at uh, my store, Rebecca Co. Uh, you go to tissueviewministries.com and then click on the store. You can find uh, this under uh, winter festivals and forum. This is basically a hang tag. So I'll put a little uh, ribbon through here and hang it or put it into the box somehow. And then you can see, I'll, I'll write down what is actually in the beauty box. But then uh, this gives the lady something to read that tells about forms. This is a great opportunity for to reach out to women to share the story of this incredible uh, festival, but also the deep layers of it and how, it, you know, what it means for them. So that you can get on my store, uh, go get that. So you can add that to your Mishwalk Man Out bag tags or your beauty boxes. But I have one more thing I'm gonna add to the boxes. So as the ladies are soaking in their you know, beauty this season in, in a bath and, and smelling nice and having some new cosmetics to make them feel good. Um, I wanted them to nosh on something that is super amazing. These are macaroons that my daughter makes at uh, her work. She works at a little French bakery. So she brought me home uh, some oversized macarons uh, that I get to use. These are actually rose water. So I think that they'll go very nicely with a Porum beauty box. So how fun is that? I'm not quite sure like <laughs> to contain them to put them in, but hopefully by the end of this video, I will figure it out and show you so you can see the final results. So thanks for watching. I just wanted to show you something that I, I do for Purim to enter and to have a tradition that makes it special for myself and for the family. In the end, I would love to be able to do a lot of beauty boxes, but it is a little expensive because um, I do not want to get yucky stuff, crappy stuff. So I don't want to give any of my friends um, products with chemicals in them. I would want to treat them as if I would treat, you know, as if I was treating myself. So would I buy chemicals for myself? No. So I'm not going to buy them chemicals either. So it is going to cost a little bit more. That's why I'm only doing two boxes because I like a full box rather than a skinny box. But that's my idea. Hopefully I'll have a picture here of the final product. So shalom, have a fantastic uh, festival of form coming up and I hope that you prepare and do something special for uh, to make a tradition in your home uh, on how to celebrate these wonderful feasts and festivals of Yehovah Elohim. Shalom. <laughs> Ooh, I don't know. I really, really want to try this. I think I should. Okay. <laughs>